Nearly 700 rockets were fired into residential neighborhoods in Gaza last week. We have our friend of the show, Barry Newsbaum, with the American Truth Project that monitors so many, thing going, so many things going on in the Middle East that affect Israel. Uh, our friend to America, indeed. And um, there are all these things. It's not just what's happening, but how it's reported in the press. How, um, well, for instance, some of how our presidential candidates for 2020, some of the Democrats are reacting to it, or, moreover, not reacting at all ignoring it. And Barry, we welcome you back to America Trends. Thank you for keeping us updated on all this. I know you have sources on the ground there in Israel. Yeah, it's great to be back with you, especially at this time, Amy. Uh, it's a critical situation in Israel. As you said, um, the Hamas leadership may be sitting on thousands and thousands of rockets. And last week they launched in uh, nearly 700 from Gaza into uh, southern and central Israel, uh, so much so that uh, numerous millions went to bomb shelters. Uh, some were killed. There were uh, dozens and dozens injured in many uh, hits on houses throughout southern Israel. And uh, Israel's retaliation, I thought, was insanely uh, restrained. Uh, Israel did their normal drop leaflets on buildings and announce we're going to destroy the building hurry up get out we don't want anyone to get hurt and then drones or rockets uh, would be launched from helicopters and planes and buildings were destroyed so hamas targets and hopes to kill innocent civilians uh, israel retaliates by destroying buildings um, interestingly uh, and strategically they finally blew up the cyber command of hamas which has been uh, pumping out hate 24-7 uh, into Israel and the rest of the world. That building got destroyed, but nobody was killed. They blew up the cyber command of Hamas. That's worth repeating, Barry. I didn't know that. Yeah, that was uh, one of the targets that was strategic. Um, Netanyahu was incredibly restrained. I think personally, my opinion and from what I've heard from Israel, it has to do with international public relations, the biggest song contest in the world, watched worldwide, Eurovision is coming to Israel. Uh, they're there now. Uh, the contest is watched by uh, hundreds of millions around the world. Israel is hosting because uh, an Israeli won it last year. So the winner of the previous Eurovision Song Contest gets to host it. And uh, Hamas has been threatening, as has Islamic Jihad, to destroy Eurovision uh, and anybody that uh, came to Israel to participate in the contest. Mm. Last I heard, four Israelis were killed in all that last week. Right. And it could have been much worse. It could have been thousands uh, if it wasn't for two things. One, it's the law in Israel that in certain areas you have to have a bomb shelter and you have to be trained on how to go to it. And uh, number two, uh, the Iron Dome shot down a tremendous number of missiles that were headed for residential neighborhoods. Uh, I've seen the technology. Wow. It's been demonstrated to me in person. It's astounding. These computers and these mobile defense systems decide where a missile is going upon detection. And within seconds, a counter missile is launched. It tracks down the incoming missile and explodes it. Uh, it has the highest uh, efficacy of any system like it in the world. And what Hamas and Islamic Jihad did this time, Amy, to bypass it, is they started launching dozens and dozens at the exact mm. same time to overwhelm the Israeli anti-missile defense system. And in some cases, it worked and the missiles got through, mm. uh, destroying countless numbers of buildings, homes, cars, uh, injuring many and killing several. It is a shame, but worth mentioning Israel's uh, ingenuity in having that anti-missile uh, program, Barry, right? Absolutely. Funded in part by the United States because the Israeli engineers need it for survival uh, to protect their citizens, and uh, America will have access to all of that technology. It is always interesting to watch Israel, not just when it comes to military efforts, but other inventions. They have so much...
again, ingenuity there and inspiration and, and follow through. Uh, it's to, interesting to keep our eyes on. The other thing, again, you mentioned, it's worth saying again, they don't just bomb, they send leaflets and warn. We're going to bomb this building, get out. We're, this is part of war, but we are trying to, to spare lives if we can. And, and that's the truth. That's, that's what Israel really does. It's not just propaganda. And that's the big dispute within Israel uh, strategically. There are many within the government, um, literally within the government, that feel Israel has to take the shackles off the IDF mm. and go in and take out the leadership. The leadership of Hamas and Islamic Jihad make no secret. They proclaim, and I mean this literally weekly, uh, on Facebook, on Twitter, on their own PR uh, engines that pump this stuff out daily, we want to kill every Jew in Israel, and our mission is to destroy everything in Israel so it can be ruled by uh, obedient, Sharia-compliant Muslims. So it would be one thing if they just made the threat, but now they're carrying it out, and Israel, the only way to stop it is going to have to go get these guys, because um, playing nice and blowing up empty buildings does nothing other than make the people that maybe lived in that building or have to go to work around that building miserable because the people in the bomb shelters underneath the hospital in Gaza City are the terror leaders and they have to be taken out or this will just continue. Barry Nussbaum is head of the American Truth Project, has all kinds of sources on the ground in the Middle East, Israel, etc. And uh, about a minute left till break, but we are going to hold you over. But in that minute, I want to ask you, how did you see this being reported in the press around the world and in, in the USA? I, I watch several news outlets, including some that are pro-Israeli, the very few. So I did see this reported, but not everyone, you know, had this at the top of their news, Barry. In the words of... Um people in government that I've spoken to in Israel, God bless President Trump. Uh, his people, Bolton, Pence, Pompeo, have all come out very strongly, unequivocally. Israel has the absolute uh, unrestrained right at self-defense, and it should be encouraged. Unfortunately, the EU doesn't see things that way. Ironically, Saudi Arabia has come out this week supporting Israel's right to defend itself and condemning Hamas and condemning the Islamic Jihad movement, which I have never wow. read in the press. Brand new change of policy.